But what's really impressive is what's happened up there in the sky. So you'll recall that yesterday, indeed, so up there, the bright one is Venus, and the one just above it is Jupiter, and they are incredibly close together. So you'll recall that yesterday, Jupiter was basically directly above Venus, and now it's at about, ooh, I don't know, 2.30, something like that. So there are three planets in this shot. There's the Earth in the foreground there. There's... Venus, who's actually really close by, which is why it's so bright, and then Jupiter, which is off way in the distance, which is much fainter. They're mangularly about the same size, but all three of these planets have moved since yesterday. Now, it turns out Venus is the closest to the Sun, so he's actually moved the furthest. The Earth, in the foreground there, that's moved the next furthest, and Jupiter is, ironically, effectively stationary, but we're sat on the Earth, so we see all the motion relative uh, to our our position. We, we we don't perceive that we've really moved. We have, but we don't perceive it. So most of Jupiter's movement there is really due to the Earth going around the Sun. So Jupiter, over the next, oh, yeah, if you were to look at exactly this time after sunset, um, in about a month's time, Jupiter will actually sink into the sunset and go behind the sun. Uh, but that motion of Jupiter is almost entirely due to the Earth's movement around the sun. Venus, on the other hand, is actually hammering around much faster than the Earth. And so Venus is going to overtake us on the inside track, which means that Venus is actually also, <laughs> in about a couple of months, well, maybe not even a month's time, is also going to sink into the evening twilight. So you've got two planets here both appear to be going behind the sun, or will be over the next month or so, for completely, well, sort of the same reason, but, but Venus is going to do it because it's moving faster than us, whilst Jupiter is going to do it because we're burning it off. We're going around the sun faster than Jupiter. Cool, eh?